welcome back guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you that how to populate multiple data sources as you can see that in this uh, in a previous tutorial we can only pass one uh, data source uh, array adapter by default supports only uh, one data, uh, data source so in this tutorial I'm going to show that how to pass multiple data sources first of all I'm going to create uh, two more data sources uh, first of all let me change it to uh, days and names name list i'm going to say that uh, uh, name one let me copy and paste or name two name three This would be name seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Now I'm going to create a dummy email, the emails list. It's not. Four, five, six, seven. And that's it. In the next step, I'm going to create an image array that I would populate along my customized array, customized draw. Sorry. Okay. So for that purpose, I'm going to create uh, a drawable new image assets, and I'm going to use the face. Okay. If you want to change, just click on this, and you would have. Uh, uh, you will be. Uh, seeing them so many there are so many built-in image assets that you can use in your project so I'm mean, going to use the uh, face next and finish okay I'm going to create an image here and this would be images list okay and this would be uh, images are stored in r dot drawable dot face or i'm going to use the same face for the rest of the list two three four five six seven okay now here you are going in uh, to pass the multiple uh, list to your data you have to create your own customized array adapter for that purpose i'm going to remove this list and this as well and this as well if you are not getting my point then you must uh, uh, watch my previous videos in order to understand this okay so let me have the uh, create my new row image view uh, this would be 70 dp and 70 dp as well with the id uh, in, uh, sr iv okay and source would be face type okay and i'm going to say background would be android color on drawer okay that's it and i'm going to have this to write off image view okay uh, let me have margin left of 7 dp and i'm going to change the background color and text color uh, text not text uh, uh, textile i need as a text i mean i need the textile as well it's bold and text color would be and right color hold on okay so I'm going to create another text view for the emails uh, I'm going 
to say it uh, not road tv actually email email list tv and i'm going to name it uh, names tv names okay names tv and this would be to left of that and this would be dummy dummy email okay and this would be below of below of names tv and i'm going to say this would be a 15 sp and uh, uh, this would be 7 dp okay so we are almost there in the next step i'm just going to uh, create a new customizer date after just click on right click on the package new java class and i'm going to say that customized adapter okay as we have the uh, data sources array type data sources okay so i'm going to extend array adapter which is of type string okay so uh, it is seeing that i have to uh, create a hmm. let me check for, uh, the error first and it is saying that i have to create the matching default constructor so i'm going to create a default constructor by pressing alt insert and this constructor and i'm going to say that uh, i would be using the second uh okay second or uh, second constructor so i'm going to pass over here not the resources i'm going to remove it and uh, this as well i would be using my own values for this purpose i'm going to say or i'm going to pass the address of reference of this row okay or dot layout on row and in the next step i have to pass the uh, simple id of any text view over here so i'm going to pass the id of this text view just to match the constructor nothing else that's it we have uh, a matching constructor and in let me pass another thing that would be string names list not string but name list uh, okay. so i'm going to create a context variable first it will be context and then i'm going to use string type string array of names list and uh, string of uh, emails list okay and i'm going to use uh, and images array okay this list okay and i'm going to have get these values from the constructor uh, first of all, I'm going to get, get the um, string array of emails list, then an integer array. Let me have I'll move it to the next line. String array of images list. Now I'm going to connect these values with the uh, instance variable. Those are which is represented by this keyword context equal to context and this dot. Uh, names list equal to names list uh, this represent the object variables and this rep these are uh, this represent the local variables okay so this is this would be email list email list would be email list and next would be this dot images list equal to images list okay so uh, we have created our customized adapter uh, constructor of customized adapter in the next step i'm going to use uh, the get view method which actually returns a view to the list view okay so get view okay i'm going to remove this unused annotations 
which I don't need anymore and I'm going to remove this as well okay so there are three parameters first of all it represents uh, the position of the uh, view which uh, position of the row or you can say a view on the list view and the second parameter actually shows that the uh, the previous uh, view that was created and the next is the parent which is the root element actually okay so first of, first of all i'm going to populate populate uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to populate I'm going to use this row into Java I'm going to get this row into customize adapter class and to convert the Java uh, XML into Java you have to use a layout inflator so I'm going to use the layout inflator layout inflator inflator equal to layout inflator equal to uh, context not convert sorry context dot get system services and system services of context uh, context dot uh, layout sorry layout inflator services and we have to convert it to layout inflator type okay so uh, and I'm going now I'm going to inflate 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 we have to pass the um, source that we are going to inflate that is row actually and then we have to pass the parent uh, and I'm not going to uh, I'm going to say this parent that uh, you have to populate you have to in, uh, con, uh, add view to the list view at the end not right now so I'm going to declare this parameter to false okay actually it uh, says that you have to wait uh, uh, till the user actually add that to the list view okay so uh, this would return us a view i'm going to share that view and that would be a single let me say row okay and i'm going to use at the end now as we have this row i can change the values to the i can change the values and now i have this row inside this single view so i can if you i want to change the values of this row i can I can change values from this and it will depict in this row okay so I'm going to use that uh, which would be single row okay so I'm going to use a single row single row dot first of all I'm going to create text view our image view image view this would be uh, face image let me let face image view equal to uh, single row dot get point view by id or dot id and this would be image view as our image view okay let me create another text view text view uh, this would be name underscore text view okay so this would be single row dot point view by it or uh, dot it this would be name text view and let me create another text view this would be uh, email text view okay so single row you have to find view by it find view by it or dot it dot email list view ignore the noise behind the recording okay so now I, as i have these text views and images i can set the values so i'm going to set the values and dot uh, set image resort that would be art uh, sorry sorry uh, this uh, these images are stored in image list and position would be this position okay the next thing is uh, name dot tv dot set text and this would be set uh, we have stored the name in name list not name names list actually okay position and the next thing is to set the email dots set text and emails list and this would be in position okay so that's it we have done we are done with this our Uh, get view method bus uh, and you have to return single row instead of that default 
super rope okay so in the next step you have to add this custom customized adapter that you have created with the list view list view dot set adapter and this would be customized adapter before that you have to create the object of that class which is customized adapter customized adapter and i'm going to say it customized adapter equals to new customized adapter and this context would be this then name list then you have to pass the email list then you have to pass the images list okay and set this adapter to customize adapter okay that's it okay so if you want to set the on click listener then you can set that on click listener in this method as well okay i hope you have learned something out of this video see you guys in the next tutorial